What's going on guys? Tropical Fish Guy here. Today we're going to be talking about a really cool fish. Uh, one that you've probably seen before and you might already have. Uh, introducing the Rummy Nose Tetra. Let's take a look at this really neat, interesting fish. So the Rummy Nose Tetra is a cool schooling fish, shoaling fish. They like to hang out and school together. From the Amazon rainforest, obviously in South America, right? I've got a school of six of them in here somewhere. They like to to go back and forth across this 20 long tank. It's got that red nose, hence the name Rummy Nose. Very, very brilliant, bright red nose there. They like to uh, hang out to the, and then that, that checkerboard black and white tail is what makes them look really cool, to me anyway. And that's the reason why I got them. They're pretty hardy fish. They are sensitive to water quality problems, so it is important that not only do you have cycled tank, but an established tank. They like to swim, as you can see, from one side uh, to the other of the tank. There's one guy back there all by himself, but he's cool. He, he hangs out with the rest of them. Um, these guys here, in a good day, they like to swim together across the tank and back. This is a 20 long. And the 20 long is kind of maybe a 20 high, so I'd, I'd recommend at least a 15, 20 gallon tank for these guys since they do like swimming back and forth. Usually they hang out in the mid level of the tank, but they go up for food, obviously. They are omnivores, so they eat just about anything. You know, give them flakes, pellets. Here's a quick thing of what I'm gonna feed them today. Feed them quite a variety. Uh, flakes, pellets, frozen food, give them some blood worms every now and then, give them some uh, brine shrimp. Like I said before, they're sensitive to water quality changes, so keep the water quality good. They don't handle swings very well. A group works well in a community tank. Uh, I'd suggest at least six. I've got six in here and they're doing great. So six and a 20 long is good, or six and a 20 is good. They do hang out together. Uh, they don't do well with aggressive fish like cichlids, most barbs, that kind of thing. Since Rummy Nose Tetris are so popular, they're sold cheaply, which is good for us, uh, most aquarium stores. Here in Dallas, you can probably find them from like $2.99 to 5 bucks, something like that. From 3 to 5 bucks is pretty reasonable here in Dallas. They're really cool. I mean, I like how they swim together. That is really neat right there. The Rummy Nose Tetra, there's a nice shot of all of them in that school right there. Pretty cool right there, huh? Uh, they can live uh, quite a long time. Uh, if you take good care of them, they can live seven or eight years, years old. So they get about two and a half inches. So these are right around an inch, maybe. So they get about twice the size of these guys. You know, you might, if you ask for a group, you might get a discount. Sometimes they sell like six for... If you buy six, you get a discount on them. Um, these fish so, uh, shoal, uh, which means they hang out together. This creates, you know, when they do shoal together, and you have quite a few, it creates a very interesting and impressive display of color, especially when they're schooling in the same direction. It shows a really nice pattern of that checkerboard and that red that you can kind of see right there. That's pretty pretty neat right there. Yeah. And they do go back and forth on this tank all the way back and forth looking for food. And I'll feed them here in a second. Um, and you know, obviously the larger the show, the bigger the display, the cooler it looks. Eventually I think I might get more here. But you know, for a 20 gallon tank, I'd say about uh, maybe 15, 20 of them is pretty good for a, for a space depending on what other kind of fish you have as well you know and speaking of other fish tank mates like I said I think I might have said previously most tetras will do you know the nice ones we got some neons here we got some some glow light tetras there we got some black phantoms although they can be kind of mean uh, we got some serpes we got some white cloud minnows we even got some rams in there so cichlids uh, nice cichlids like rams uh, they should they're they're doing fine 
with the rummy nose. They are swimmers, so they do require a large area to swim in. So plants are good. Just, you know, keep them in the back. As far as decorations, they really don't, rummy nose really don't care about decorations. They just want the room to swim. So up in the front, I've got lots of swimming area. In the back, I shoved all the plants there. Usually they swim around the mid-levels of the water, but of course they go up and down to feed. These tetras obviously are popular because they're unique colors and patterns from their head to tail, which I just described, which is really cool. You can't get tired of that. That's really neat. At first, when I first saw these things, I thought they got bashed in the face with, by the glass or something, and they're like, no, they're supposed to look like that. So I was like, wow, that is really cool. Anyways, most of the bodies plain silver. Their head is deep rich, which gives them their name. The rummy nose. That. Is that cool or what? Rummy nose. Yeah, it kind of looked like they got bashed in the face and they're bleeding everywhere, but not the case. The tail fin stands out as much as the head. We talked about that earlier, that checkerboard design. I guess that's not, it looks like checkerboard to me, but the black and white design, whatever, reminds me of checkerboard, although it might not be checkerboard. But that's pretty cool along with their heads. You can see them. Yeah, they're schooling over there now. They hear me talking about them. But when they school together like that, that's really, it's really interesting. Really cool looking. That's why I wanted to bring your attention to the rummy nose tetra. Their body is submarine shaped, so they can go fast. They swim fast in the water or torpedo shaped, some people would say. Clear fins, except for that tail fin. And once fully grown, about two and a half inches. So they get a lot bigger than this. I'd say double that size, two and a half inches. So it'll be good to have them plenty of room. Sexing the individuals is difficult. I can't tell you what's a male or what's a female. I don't think anybody can. I think people just put them in there and see what they get. Although the experts say that the females are plumper, I can't really tell. If you can tell, leave a comment below. Tell me you can tell. But nope, not as far as sexing, I can't tell you. As far as the gravel, any type of gravel will do. They don't usually hang around the bottom. They usually hang around the middle. So any kind of gravel, the rummy nose don't really prefer. Anything particular, most substrate's fine. So pick some plants that'll grow in the middle levels of the water. So. What I really like is I really like the java fern, anubias, java moss, that kind of thing that just sits there and grows. Doesn't really take much care for lighting or feeding or anything like that. They're pretty easy. Uh, rummy nose love to hide in plants when, the, when they want to get away from other fish, so I would recommend plants. If not live, fake is fine. Temperature should be around 75 to 85, so they really don't care about temperature too much. Obviously tropical. A little bit cooler. pH is between 6.2 to 7, although in my water it's about 7.5 and they are doing great. So I would suggest don't chase the parameters too much. Hardness should be around 2 to 10 dKH, degrees of hardness. Any type of standard aquarium light is suitable. I use the cheapo light. Uh, I'd use that for my 10 gallon. Now I need a better one for this 20, but it seems to be doing okay. I've got it next to a window here too, so I've opened that up a little bit. And no, windows aren't bad for fish tanks, as long as you don't cook the fish and have too much algae, you'll be all right. Works for me. Any kind of aquarium lighting is suitable. They'll take cover in the plants when they need shelter from the lights. I recommend rummy nose, at least in a 20 gallon, I said that. Although they are small, they enjoy having plenty of place to shoal and swim. That's very important, I've said that as well. You need to stress that. They are peaceful fish that are great for most community fish tanks. They're friendly to most tank mates, but they can become easily stressed by more aggressive fish, so be careful what fish you put them with. Just as a guide, that's what I told you earlier, they should avoid large fish with mouths big enough to eat the rummy nose. Stay away from species with aggressive reputations too, right? Avoiding large fish with big mouths, like, you know, anything with a mouth big enough to eat it. Basically like cichlids, mostly. But not all of them, like, like I said, angelfish and rams are good. You can keep them with, with most small fish, like danios, tetras, platys, guppies, mollies. Like what I've got here, I've got, like I showed you, a whole bunch of stuff. Bunch of tetras, rams, other tetras. I got some 
glow light tetras, more tetras. This is the tetra tank after all. White clouds. Most tetras in there, you can put them with guppies and mollies and stuff like that too. Corydoras, obviously harlequin rasboras, cherry barbs, dwarf quarmies, all those kind of things are, should be fine. As far as snails and shrimp, I don't have any snails in here because my and shrimp, I don't have any because my rams will eat them. You could put snails and shrimp in with community tank with these rummy nose, but I would be careful with the baby shrimp as they might get eaten. They have the potential to be eaten. Rummy nose tetras are omnivores, like I might have mentioned previously. So in the wild, they eat plants, insects, larvae, eggs, anything really that they can get their mouths on. I use the flakes and the pellets as a staple to their diet. Those up there are some of the few. I'll leave links in the description. And I give them other foods as well, uh, some freeze dried as well as some frozen. So I feed them flakes every day. I feed them this combo every day, as well as uh, every, every few days, every couple of days or so, twice a week maybe, give them some frozen food. Both live and frozen food are good ways to promote, uh, provide some protein and they can be used to give your tetra some variety. Daphne and blowworms are other good choice. I do have some Daphne and blowworms. So that is the update. That is the care guide. Hopefully I'd let you guys know the basics of the rummy nose tetra. Let's go ahead and end this note off by feeding them. All right, I'm gonna feed them a little bit of this. Oops. So for the New Life Spectrum Optimal Flakes. Uh, it has a lot of krill, squid, wheat flour, filet of fish. They like this a lot as a general food. Give them a pinch of that. Okay. And you can see them, I hope that uh, you can see them, all the fish, even the rummy nose, uh, the tetras, they go crazy for this. They really love this because it has different ingredients than most foods. Then I give them a little bit of this Fluval color enhancing flakes. This stuff, it, at first I was like, man, nobody likes this, but it takes them, a, takes them a while to get used to. It is softer than most foods. So it takes them a while to get used to, but the, they really do dig that, as you can see. They really like that stuff. The micro pellets from Hikari. These are really good. They're not that nutritious or anything. Fish meal, krill meal, uh, soybean meal, flake corn. But fish do like them, and giving them a variety of food is, is good. Give them a pinch of that. And of course, of course, look at that, yeah. Hopefully you get this footage, this is really good. Of course, they like the bug bites. This is just basically soldier fly larva, but it's like a, in little pebbles. So we'll give them a pinch of that. So basically what they'll eat in about a minute or two, depending on the size of your tank, you know, what you don't want is a whole bunch of it to fall to the bottom. I do need to get some corridors in there, some bottom feeders. But that should be a good, oh man, it was all tilted, sorry about that guys. And actually, you know, I should do that twice a day, as much as they can eat it in about a minute. And you know, you can see them, they're fattening up, they're doing good, they're not skinny, especially those neons. Uh, the rummy nose are fattening up, they're doing really good. All the fish are doing great in this tank. I'm very happy with this tank. Uh, we just got some new glow lights. They're getting, they're kind of tiny, but I'll uh, do a spotlight on them here next or in the future. Of course, I got to do my RAM spotlight. I got to do a whole bunch of stuff. But there you have it. The Rummy Nose Tetra Care Guide. Hopefully you guys learned some cool stuff about the Rummy Nose. And let me know if you guys uh, have Rummy Nose or plan on getting some. They're really cool fish for the community tank, like I said. Uh, hit me up on the Instagram. I am at the Tropical Fish Guy. I, I post some stuff up there. I've done done a few videos and some pictures and stuff. Let's hang out there for you got Instagram guys. 
as well as make sure you sign up to the mailing list, tropicalfishguide.com slash sign up, to where you get all the latest videos, tips and tricks. I'm not selling you a bunch of stuff, you know, mostly it's information. There might be like a blurb of, hey, here's the thing that I use, get this or whatever, but definitely more informational than selling, so, you know, definitely get on that list. Well worth it if you like fish topics. And give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with someone who like who's looking for a new freshwater fish, the Roman Nose Toucher. Definitely high on the list. And thanks so much for watching. You guys are really appreciate it. Uh, let me know in the comments too if you want to do some live sessions. I, I did a live session last week, and I'm thinking about doing one today. Don't really have a schedule or anything like that, but live sessions are like Q and A's. Ask me your, your questions, that kind of thing, or talk about fish, whatever. Leave me a comment, say yes, Q&A, live sessions, whatever. But uh, thanks for watching, really appreciate you guys. Happy fish keeping. Peace out.